Hello War of the Visions newbies, this is Suspect Amy, and I'm here to do a quick video complaining about my experience with Farplane Archive units. As you know, I recently did a video on free units for new players, and that got me thinking to try to use the Farplane to strengthen my water team. I chose Dia, unlocked her archive for the day, and dove right in. While blasting through her story and EX mission got her to level 89 pretty quickly, I started running into some issues. One issue is that they only give you enough shards here to get you to level 89. Where are the rest of her shards? Multi-quests. This is the dumbest shard mission ever because, seriously, no one cares about helping you with your crappy Dia quest. I sat here for like 30 minutes just begging people to join and help. Eventually someone helps here and there, but expect to wait a painfully long time to complete this mission? Can't you farm her shards somewhere, you might ask? No. You can only farm her mind spheres, which means you need to get her to level 99 to use them, so the multi-quest is really not optional. Speaking of mind spheres, let's talk about the other problem I had with the Far Plane Archive, and that's the brutal difficulty chambers. While I can beat the chamber, I can't complete the missions because it requires a full, high-level water team, which I don't have. I seriously doubt new players will have this either. To get the rest of her mind spheres, I need to clear all of the missions in this brutal chamber, plus all of the missions in a level 115 nightmare difficulty chamber. This is absolutely ridiculous to expect from new players. The alternative is that I can just background auto the Brutal Chamber and farm Mind Spheres all day, which is what I did. It took me three days of re-unlocking this archive and all day background farming in order to get the Mind Spheres I need to get Dia to level 140. So this got me thinking, who the hell are these MR units for? These are definitely not for new players. I'm a mid-level player and it was a total pain in the butt over three days, and for what? A low rarity MR unit? This doesn't make any sense. If only advanced players can reasonably get these far plane units, what is their purpose? Are these just here so that late game players can use them in selection quests? I still don't get it. Selection quest URs are mediocre at best. Why make these MRs so inaccessible to new players, basically? So that late game players will use them one time to get a mediocre UR? These MR units would be super useful for new players. They would likely be a staple on their teams for months. I think Gumi missed an opportunity to have these MRs serve a greater purpose. Watching Aranjay's latest newbie video, what new players get now is just ridiculous. Like four level 99s and four level 120 high-end URs or something? This seems like a circus to me. I think Gumi could have just made these far plane MRs really easy for new players to pick up and enjoy, instead of giving away the farm like this. Anyways, what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your opinions on my rant in the comments below. I try my best to respond to every comment. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching my video. Bye, everyone.